So first we start uh, with the short pranayama exercise to start to connect with the breath, with the body and start to cool down the system for the practice. So we can either start sitting down or laying on your back. Especially if you feel like you need a little bit more grounding for this practice today, I would advise maybe you can lay on your back. So feel free to find your position. I'm going to demonstrate sitting down. Uh, if you're sitting, maybe using a block or a blanket to elevate your hips. This is going to give you much more ease on your seated posture. So finding a place, finding a position for your legs. It can be easy crossed leg or just one heel in front of the other. And slowly closing the eyes. Rooting down through the sitting bones. Lengthening the spine from the sacrum, from the base of your spine, all the way to the crown of the head and extending to the sky. And relax your shoulders down to the floor. Long back of the neck, bring your chin slightly down and slightly back towards your throat. Play a little bit with this alignment of your spine and your neck. Small little movements to find this perfect stagment of your vertebras. Once you, once you already relaxed your upper body, shift your attention to your lower body. Relaxing the groins, relaxing your knees, and letting your feet sink down to the ground. Connecting your roots to the floor, all the way to the center of the earth. At the same time, as you lengthen your spine in the crown of the head up to the sky. Feel the support of the earth and the connection to your higher self. Bring your hands together into Anjali Mudra in front of your heart center. We start the practice in chanting Pranava Om three times. First time it's a normal Om, second time it's a Hum, third time it's a silent Om. So let's exhale together to coordinate the breath. Big breath in for the first OM. Breathing in for HUM. breath in, preparing for silent OM, breathing in. And chant the mantra on your mind as, as you exhale. Slowly release your hands back to your thighs. 
palms facing up if you're feeling more receptive today for this practice or maybe palms facing down for a little bit more grounding and connection. Becoming the observer of your breath. Letting go of any control of the breath. Allowing yourself a moment to drop into the space where you are. And drop into the body. Purnata, passive breathing. Notice where your breath is located. Maybe you're breathing through your chest. Maybe you're breathing more through the sides, on the floating ribs. Or maybe you're breathing a little bit more through your belly. Just notice where your breath is. Softening the body with each exhalation. Bringing the sense of surrender. Bring your hands to your belly and start to feel the movement of the belly as you breathe in and out, both hands to the belly. If you're laying down, you should be feeling all points of contact of your body and your back body with the floor. Same intention of releasing tension and surrendering. Attention to your belly breathing and start to enhance this belly breathing. So bringing all the air down to the belly with the inhalation, expanding, and shrinking the belly navel to spine as you exhale. Feeling the belly with the breath in. Navel to the spine with the breath out. A few more breaths here. Just sensing. Practicing presence. Make sure you can keep your shoulders relaxed. Slowly bring your hands to your side ribs, to the floating ribs. And together with the hands, you bring your breath to this area. Expand the ribs to the sides with the inhalation and draw the ribs in with the exhalation. Practice. Breathing through the sides and the middle part of your torso. Few more breaths. Bringing your hands to your chest.
coming into a thoracic breathing. So breathing through the chest, feeling the lungs with the breath in. And exhale, empty the lungs, chest coming back down in. Breathing here through your chest and just noticing and observing. Maybe if you pay attention, you can, you can feel how energizing it is to be breathing through the chest. Bringing all the air to this area. Stay here for a couple of breaths, feeling the sensations on your thoracic area. Yogic breathing, so we're separating the breath through different parts of the body, three different parts belly, ribs, and chest. Big breath in through the chest. And as you breathe out, slowly slide the hands back to your belly. We're gonna do a few rounds of Viloma Pranayama, which consists pretty much on what we have been practicing just now. So we're going to break the inhalation in three parts, belly, ribs, and chest. And we're going to exhale fully, sliding the hands back down to the belly. So just a full, complete exhalation to the count of eight. I invite you to use your hands to on, onto each part of the body as we move with the pranayama. So let's do it together. Starting with the hands on your belly. We're going to work with sips of air around two seconds on each part. I'll guide you through. Hands on your belly, feeling the belly breathing. Taking a full breath in through the nostrils and a full breath out to prepare. Breathing in through the belly, just a sip of air for one, two. Breathing through the ribs for one, two. Breathing in through the chest for one, two. Breathing out, sliding the hands for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. In through the belly, one, two. Breathing through the ribs, one, two, through the chest, one, two, and slowly exhale, eight. Inhaling, belly, hands to the ribs, breathing in chest and breathing out four three two one hand to the belly this time one full breath in and breath out two more like this Breathing in through the belly. And breathing out. Again, inhalation. 
and exhale to prepare for the second round. Breathing out and breathing in. Belly one, two, ribs one, two, chest one, two, out for eight. Three, two, one, in through the belly, in through the ribs, through the chest, slow exhalation. Three, two, one, last one. Breathing in, belly, side ribs, in through the chest, one, two, and breathing out. Three, two, one, hands on the belly, full breath in. And breathe out fully empty. Two more, breathing in. And slowly breathing out. Release your hands back to your thighs. Going back to Purnata, passive. Breathing, observation, Notice the differences from before the pranayama and after, if there are any differences. Paying attention to the length of the inhalations and exhalations. And getting more and more comfortable in your body as we move the prana throughout the entire body, balancing the energies. Cultivating mindfulness and presence to whatever is arising. I like to picture my body or the, my inner body as a water flow. So sometimes I like to visualize that energy moving through the body just like a flow of water moving to eat through each and every part of my body and connecting to this element invitation to look a little bit deeper to feel a little bit deeper and to reach our emotions. Bring your hands to touch in front of you, scrubbing the hands. Creating some heat. And placing 
the hands in front of the eyes without touching the skin, but very, very close. Feeling those subtle energies as the heat that comes out of your hands and into your eyes. Starting to blink the eyes open, letting the light come in slowly and release the hand back to your thighs. <laughs> 